A working day in the life of Veronique Morali gets underway. She's a successful executive who's climbed the career ladder right to the top. And now she's calling for female quotas in the boardroom. I used to be against quotas, but we need faster progress, especially at the top. She herself is president of Fimalac Development. The company is a part of Fitch Ratings, the world's third largest credit ratings agency. Most of the staff in her Paris office are women. Over 60% of graduates from French business schools are now women. But the higher you go up the career ladder, the fewer women you'll find. Véronique Morali is the founder of the internet portal Terra Femina, which is addressed at French businesswomen. These days, their cause is being championed in the French parliament. Lawmakers are keen to push through a new equality law, an unexpected development in France where gender roles are very clearly defined and women are generally expected to be, above all, feminine and fashionable. Leading the call for legislation to ensure gender parity in French boardrooms is Aude de Toin. She's founder and CEO of the Women's Forum for the Economy and Society. Most bosses are men, and it's easy for them to hire their friends, old university buddies and so on. That's how it works in France. De Toin set up the Women's Forum for the Economy and Society as a response to the World Economic Forum in Davos, which she felt was a men-only club. My male friends, people who know me well as an entrepreneur, were suddenly asking me, a woman's forum? What's she thinking? But five years later, it's still going strong. Véronique Morali has also taken matters into her own hands. She lobbies for gender equality in the French National Assembly. Basically, we need to see a change in mentality, and not just because of the financial crisis, although that has sharpened awareness in companies of the need for greater diversification. In France, it seems that ambitious women have been given a green light. What do the men think? Women have a different perspective. They deal with problems differently. They're more flexible and thoughtful. I think men are afraid of that. Morali promotes her cause regularly on TV. Publicity helps. It was President Sarkozy's party which put forward the plan to impose gender equality on the male-dominated business world. I think that these days no one would dare say in public that they didn't believe in gender equality. Morali hopes to use this change in attitude to make sure that the legislation is actually passed. She knows she has to keep turning up the pressure. The legislation does have its detractors. And some of the opposition comes from the most unlikely quarters. The students at this elite university don't support the plan. I'm basically against a female quota. It's not a good idea. It's discrimination, even if it's positive. I don't think we need a quota. Past efforts are paying off. We're seeing a lot more women taking on greater responsibilities, also in government. Véronique Morali obviously still has a lot of work to do persuading the very people she wants to help.